Hi, I'm Edward Chen from Mirror Asset, and today we will talk about the competitive landscape of the foundry business. So in the semiconductor industry, a semiconductor fabrication plant is commonly called a fab or foundry. It is basically a factory where integrated circuits are manufactured. And there are two business models in the industry. An integrated device manufacturer, or so-called an IDM, is a company with its own foundry and produces its own IC design in-house. Intel, for example, runs the IDM model. The second model separates the manufacturing and the design of the chips, where you have a fabulous company like Qualcomm, MediaTek, focused on IC designs, and pure play foundries like TSMC focus on manufacturing. So before TSMC was founded in 1987, most of the integrated circuit companies operates an IDM model with an in-house design and manufacturing. TSMC and other foundries have developed this new business model of separating chip design and manufacturing. And over time, the IDM has been losing market share to foundries and fabless companies. And one key reason is that the process node migration requires a significant capital investment and a high utilization rate to be profitable. And the fabless plus foundry is more effective business model compared to the IDM. So Gordon Moore is the co-founder of Fairchild and Intel, who famously predicted that the number of transistors in an integrated circuit doubles about every two years back in 1975 which has since become known as the Moore's Law. Foundry process migration work on shrinking the distance between transistors, which has allowed us to pack in more transistors into a fixed area, achieving a higher logic density with better power efficiency. So below the 10 nanometer process, there are only three companies with plans for further technology migration. There are TSMC, Samsung, and Intel. So TSMC has been leading the industry after the 14 nanometer process. The company started mass production for the 7 nanometer node in the first quarter 2018, which is almost two years ahead of the nearest competitor Samsung and over four years ahead of Intel's most optimistic 7 nanometer progress projection. We believe TSMC will be able to maintain this technology leadership going forward with this continuous focus on R&D and strong execution in production ramp-up. So Samsung has an aggressive timeline to catch up on the 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer nodes. The company started to ramp up on the 7 nanometer process this year, and it has about 19% market share by revenue as of second quarter 2020, which is second behind TSMC. So Intel said on its second quarter results that the 7 nanometer node launch date will be further delayed by another six months from the originally planned launch date at the end of 2021. And this will be a full year behind its target for reach its planned yield for the 7 nanometer chips. And management indicated the possibility to outsource production for some of its chips to third-party manufacturers to alleviate the delays. <laughs> 